order to subscribe for my channel please click here or click here please like share and comments on my videos and channel thank you hey guys this is Gaurav welcome to SAS with ServiceNow this is our follow-up session of ServiceNow service catalog training this is about myself in this session we are going to talk about service catalog variable attributes now this session is the continuation of our previous two sessions where we talked about variables different types of variables and we also created different types of variable as well in service now service catalog variable attributes now attributes transform the behavior of the variable that means if you have created the variable and if you want to change the out of the box behavior that that means the ideal behavior of the variable if you want to change it in order to change that you have to use the attributes now as you can see on the screen we have this variable called a list collector and there is a field which is called as variable attributes and there you can mention the new attribute which will change the behavior of this variable so let's start with our first attribute that is glide list now glide list will basically change uh, the list collector interface as of now you can see the glide list uh, this this list collector is just like a, a slush bucket but now it would convert the uh, list collector into glide list and glide list is something which you see on your for example incident form you see like watch list where you can add multiple uh, records from a table it's it's quite similar but you don't see the slush bucket uh, in your glide list similarly when you add a list collector variable on a form it, it looks like a slush bucket but if you want to convert that list collector into glide list then you can use this glide underscore list attribute so let's take a look how exactly you can do that so I will go to my personal developer instance I will click on maintain items Now I will just go to the same demo for variables. I will open the catalog form in another tab as well. This is the same form which we created in our demo. Now I will go back to my catalog item form and I will go to variables. Now in variables we will start with glide list. For glide list it has to be list collector and where exactly we have list collector here. So I will click this variable. I will go to the section called default value under default value you will see this variable attribute now before changing this or before adding it let me just show you how exactly our list collector is so this is our list collector it's like a slush bucket so I can all add all the records I want to uh, just select so it says available it says selected now if I go to my variable and I will add here glide underscore list you have to mention as it is it has to be in lower characters so you have you'll mention glide list and you will save this once this will be saved you can go to your form reload it if you will reload it and go at the bottom you can see initially we were seeing a, a really big big section where you have to select the records but here you can see is it now it becomes the glide list so I can click here I can unlock this and now I can search for the records I want to add I can select this one and I, I can select more as well if I want this one and I think that was not selected so I will select this one and I can just lock this so you can see these two users are selected it's similar like slush bucket but the view is quite different now it's totally up to you as per the requirement you want or the kind of user experience you want to give to the end user so this is about the glide list attribute the next variable attribute is is searchable choice now this attribute is applicable on lookup select box or select box so that we can make them searchable that is what it is so as an example if I go to my instance if I talk about select box I think I have not added any uh, lookup select box but let's add it so if I go to here I will go to my catalog form create a new variable 
select the type as lookup select box please select users or user I will give the specifications here the table name and I can save this once it is saved I can go to my form reload it you will see here it says please select user and it's like a select box like choices I can select any user I want but as of now you can see it is not giving me an opportunity to search in that case I will use this attribute so I will go to my variable under default value I have this field variable attributes and I can put here is underscore searchable underscore choice equal to true and I can save this then I will go to my form reload it Now this time if I will click here now you can see now it is giving me an opportunity to search so I can search for example AL so you can see I can search the name now that is the difference so if you add that attribute then you'll be able to search if you're not giving that then users will not be able to search the choices so ideally if I would say if you are selecting the lookup select box where you have a hundred of choices in that case I think you have to keep it as a mandatory or maybe you can keep the standard for your team that they have to add this attribute so that it will be really good for the end users really user friendly so that you they can search for the record they are looking for the next attribute we have is max length now max length is basically applied on single text or wide single line text those kind of variables so what exactly we can do so if I go to my instance here you can see we have this please provide your name here I can put what will be the maximum length of this particular variable so if I type here I can type till so you can see let's let's continuously type So this is a single line text as of now so there's no limit you can see I can type like whatever uh, characters I want I can just type here but if you want to put some limit in that case I can go to my variable so I will go to my catalog item under my then variable here I will select this one single line text because that's the one where it is asking please provide your name now here's the default value and I have this variable attribute so here I can put like max underscore length equal to let's put 10 and see what exactly you get so if I put 10 and save here I will go to my form reload it let's try to type something now you can see I'm keep on typing on my keyboard but is not allowing me to type any more characters that's the reason so if you want to put some limitations the maximum length for your end users for single line text or a wide line text kind of variables in that case you can use this attribute the next variable attribute is max underscore unit now max underscore unit will be applied only on duration variable 
So as you can see in duration variable, we can select days, hours, minutes and seconds. Now what if, if you, you are looking for just putting just minutes or seconds or maybe till hours, you don't want user to put days. Now it's totally up to you the kind of field, the kind of input you are looking for from your end user. So in that case, in order to limit the units, what you can do, you can go to your variable and here's the duration type of variable. Under that, you have this default section. Then we go to variable attributes. Here, what I can do, I will put max underscore unit equal to hours. That means I do not want user to fill days. I should only be able to fill hours, minutes, and seconds. In that case, I will save this. I will go to my form, reload it. And you can see we have this just as please mention the duration i do not have days anymore here because i have mentioned the maximum unit it should take only till hours not the days one so this is how you can use max underscore unit the next variable attribute we have is no filter so if you remember we created a variable called list collector so this no filter will be applied on list collector. Now, when you add a variable called list collector, it always comes with the filter at the top. So recently we converted list collector to glide list. So this time we will just remove that attribute and add new attribute. So if I go to my instance and I will open my variable, so I'm going to list collector here. I click list collector. Now in default, we already have this glide list in variable attributes field. I will remove this. This time I will add no underscore filter because I do not want to see that filter which shows at the top of the list collector. And I will save this. Once I will save this, so now we will go back to our slush bucket, but we will not see any filter on our form. And if I go to my form, that is end user form, I reload it. And if I go at the bottom, you can see we are back with our slush bucket. But this time I do not have any filter, which you are giving that opportunity to your end users to filter out the data, which you, which is showing in available section. The next variable attribute is ref AC columns. That means this is related to reference columns. And this attribute would be applicable for reference type of variables. That means you will specify the columns which you want to display the values as part of your auto completion. So if you are typing them and your, your, uh, your uh, field or your variable shows as part of the auto completion. So for which fields you want that, for which columns you want to show that, that case you can select those fields. So if I go to my catalog item, I will open up the variable configuration we have and that is the reference one so this is the reference one now i can put the attributes here and that will be ref underscore ac underscore columns now what columns i need to put here i can do columns equal to here i can put uh, the columns where i so that users can can see the auto completions let's i think the best example would be email because mostly you use email i can put username that is also one of the good uh, i think uh, column so that users it will be really easy for the end users to search those records and you you can mention these columns as per the data you have for this reference variable so I will save this. Once this is saved, I will go to my form, reload it. Here is the reference field we have. If I type here, for example, you can see it is showing me the email address as well here like with the name, the username, and the, the email as well. So it is 
automatically completing it now these are the important things now if you want to uh, give that opportunity so that it will be really user friendly for the end users to search it in that case you can use this particular attribute the next attribute we have is ref underscore ac underscore order by now this is also applicable for reference type of variable but this is something if you want to uh, display the autocomplete records for your end users in kind of sorting now with what field you want to sort those auto completion that you can mention and it's a similar like ref underscore in the attribute you will mention ref underscore ac underscore order underscore by equal to the field which you want to mention or you want to sort uh, the records which user will see as part of the auto completion the next variable attribute is ref auto completer now this is also applicable for reference field now if you want to specify the name of the javascript class in that case you can utilize this attribute and we have different valid classes which you can use for this particular attribute and the last one we have is ref qual elements now this is something if you want and this will be applicable for lookup multiple choice lookup select box and list collector and this will be where you want to uh, put the list of fields which will be sent back to the server to get an updated reference so basically i have not really used uh, this particular attribute because the more the attributes which we talked earlier i think that's what you will use in your uh, creation of service catalog different kind of service catalog items and variables you will create so thanks for watching my video have a great day